folks. This morning's soap is uh, from Wet the Face. It's called Haimitsu. You can kind of see what the soap uh, scent profile is right there to the top. It's patchouli, saffron, sweet lemon, and rose. That's what it looks like there on the inside. It's a soft soap. You can push your finger in there and it goes in pretty easy. Get about four ounces in this tub and there's plenty of room if you want to lather up on the inside. I bowl lather so I scoop mine out, put it in the bowl. Got the album block, no rubber band. Definitely is going to be the last time I use the unscented witch hazel that's methylated. Got the matching uh, aftershave. Off camera I'll be using the Shave and Sailor Beard Oil. That's about how much I got left in that one. Got it whipped up here in a, uh, with a um, horse hair brush here. Here's the bowl. I spent a um, little bit of time. To me, this is, uh, I guess you might say, I guess you might say, phase one of the <laughs> relaxation of the uh, <laughs> of the shave. Um, might be kind of hard to tell. I found a corner of this bowl. This bowl is not very big. It's fairly small in comparison to a bowl here. Sarabachi bowl. They're pretty standard in, in size. You can kind of tell the size here. This one here is pretty small. I ordered, when I ordered this one here, I ordered it small. I guess you might say on my journey trying to find the size of a bowl that I was looking for. Not knowing for sure what size was going to work well for me. And uh, this one here, uh, over time I've been able to uh, get used to uh, using a uh, bowl like that. <coughs> Excuse me. But it's taking... Um, it's taking a little bit of time to get used to it. Horsehair brush, small knot like this one here, in a brush. I mean, in a bowl like this. I find a corner, if the, if you will, or a side. I've been able to find a, in other words, where there's a lot of soap that's built up on the side. I just kept on working it. It, you just see a, the lather just keeps on building up. For me, it's relaxing. It's a lot of fun, in my opinion. Got what's left of the uh, cube there. <laughs> Not much left. <laughs> it's kind of funny calling it a cube since there's so so little of it left. From what I understand, uh, somebody Alex was kind enough to look back and find that I started using this on video on uh, May 27th. So that's that's definitely getting your money's worth out of a cube. That's that's quite a quite a while. If you notice, I have a tendency to start with the green when I first start working, applying it. Then I work against the green. It's whatever works for you, of course. And if you're wondering why I start with the green, I find myself, uh, for me, if I find myself trying to go against the green in the beginning, it feels like I'm, it, it, it irritates my skin. That's, that's about the best way to put it. It, it doesn't feel comfortable, in other words, going against the green in the beginning. It's kind of like, you know, your first pass is with the green <laughs> instead of against the green. Now, if you don't have much stubble, I understand going against the green on your first pass, especially if you're just doing a quick and easy. And even though you may not be able to see a whole lot, but a lot of my stubble is gray, as you can probably tell. This is a really nice scent. A 
sometimes I have a hard time determining which which one of the scents am I picking up. I guess you might say they're blended rather well. This will be the third shape with this Schick injector. Type in Persona Blade. My next shaver will be a Schick injector. Going back to an older one. This is a very smooth shaver. So if you're really looking for a, I guess you might say, a, it's a mild shaver in my opinion. Definitely gets the job done. Not so mild in my opinion. In other words, mild, but still efficient. I don't think they're too terribly expensive, in my opinion. You still bit off, depending on what condition you're looking for. You still find these, uh, I guess you might say, new old stock. This one here is in great condition. I would have to say almost like new. I mean, there's some light wear on it, very light wear, but very much like new. Today's Wednesday, by the way. Everything's quiet this morning. Kids are going to be out of school today. So I was giving them a hard time. In our school system here, the uh, Wednesday is uh, what they call Late Start Wednesday. So rest of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, they start school at a particular time. But on Wednesday, they start later. So I was giving them a hard time last night about how today was going to be a late start Wednesday. Dad, we don't go to school. I said, exactly. So you start late on Wednesday. But anyway, <laughs> it's going to be a late start anyway. So everything's nice and quiet. My son, he's kind of like me. He usually wakes up earlier than my daughter does. My daughter's like my wife. She does not, she's not a, my wife and daughter are not early, they're not morning people. Even though my son, he can sleep in when he wants to. Yeah, this is a pretty good shaver. I enjoy it. I really think you'd probably go for a BBS shave and not risk getting irritation with it. This is one of these soaps. <clears throat> Excuse me, one of these kind of soaps that the scent will stay with you throughout the shave. 
It's not one that disappears on you. Even with my nose. It's easy to lather. Don soaps always have a nice push shave feel. Tomorrow's Thursday, and tomorrow's shave will be. Uh, I guess you might say be a little bit different considering I have uh, cooking duties. I will be quite busy early on. So my posting will be quick. But I will get one out. Identifying this tomorrow's um, chick, it's it's never been easy for me to figure out exactly what version this one is. It is one that uh, has a navy blue handle. The head is silver in color, chrome, if you will. But it's textured. So I don't know if this is the 66 model that they refer to as 66 or not. I don't know for certain. But I don't find any other reference to it. So it could be, it may not be. That is one thing about the Schick models. Some of them are, the lines are kind of blurred. Whether it's a type E, G, something, you know, those, that sort of thing. Some of them are kind of blurred in between there. And as it goes for type E's and G's, from what I understand, um, I guess you might say that how that all came about was uh, <laughs> somebody trying to come up with a way to differentiate one model from another. If you haven't noticed, I did whip this one up a little bit thicker than what I normally do. Sometimes I tinker with it, with the, uh, with the uh, lather, from especially from shaver to shaver to see if it makes a difference in the shave. This one here being a little bit thicker than normal to see if it makes a difference in the shave. And if anything, um, if anything that what I do notice about a wetter lather, besides the, sl the slickness, is the ease of uh, rinsing it off of my shaver. But a wetter lather does um, help with the glide. But this is definitely a creamy, creamy lather. I guess you might say this one here has a bit more cushion to it. So this kind of lather might uh, be more suitable for a shaver like this as well as maybe a DE. That might be worse. This kind of lather might be more suitable for that. More more folks might enjoy that kind of lather. 
for those kind of shavers. I do enjoy shaving with a um, shave vest, so I, I do lean towards the, the wet side of things. Now we've been working on also the uh, to a degree, if you will, <laughs> the schedule of December. Trying to figure out um, the soap schedule. Trying to keep it a, I guess you might say a system, if you will. <laughs> how it's going to work out for me so I can keep some some sort of regularity of it I think I finally figured something out that's going to work well for me it took me a little bit. Sit there looking at a sheet of paper with a calendar on it. 31 days. Where did the uh, the start and the finish of the days sit? For instance, um, Sundays will be uh, shaving cream days as opposed to soap. So how many of those days are there? So how many shave, shaving creams are going to have to come up with? In what shaving creams am I going to use? And decided I'd figure the what shaving creams I'd well I'll figure that out a little bit later. Just uh, then I'm going to have to come up with five shaving creams. Okay, that's easy enough. I can do that and figure Wednesday will be wet the face. Okay, easy enough. Five of those. I've got five of those. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> So it's going through <laughs> through all that, <clears throat> excuse me, as well as I was kind of going through my mind on the shavers, uh, adjustable shavers. Adjustables, I kind of feel like to a degree, is probably in between adjustables and slants, may be the end up being the most controversial of the DEs. If you get in with the folks that are very passionate about them, because with an adjustable, well, like an adjustable with a uh, with an injector, you get in the right crowd. If you got an adjustable injector, you don't need anything else, and that will be the thought process with a number of folks. And I and I understand. Because once you get in a, an adjustable, you adjust it to whatever shade that you're looking for for the day. And uh, you don't need another one. That'll be the thought process. And I can understand that, especially if you're just looking for one shaver. Trying to keep things on a, on a minimal level. Not looking on the collector side of things, in other words. Got a little bit of stinging down on my neck again, down here. It's interesting sometimes. Down here, I don't know. It's not very often I get stinging down there. But anyway, adjustables, yeah. You got an adjustable you some will argue you don't need another don't need another razor if you got an adjustable but all adjustables don't how you say they're not equal they're not the same the gaps are may not be the same they may be different Parthion will be one <laughs> those gaps yeah, it, it really is. You just about have to you have to get one to shave with it. Uh, it is it is very aggressive. It's like wow, 
unbelievable. Um, oh, by the way, it's done. <laughs> but um, that that adjustable shaver there, it's uh, if you're looking for an adjustable, aggressive one, that that's one to get. Um, when it comes closer to that point in time, I'll put it up to the front of the month, so that way um, we'll get that one. How can you say? Not necessarily out of the way, but th that discussion up front, because it it'll be, how can you say, the most controversial one, because it uh, the way it's designed. If you shave every few days, it's not the best in the way of how you say cleaning out. It's not made for uh, somebody that shaves every three or four days or something like that. It it will uh, it doesn't clean out very well. But if you're a daily shaver, yeah, it's not a problem. But it's it's so it's so aggressive, even down on your lower settings. It's uh it does have just a wee bit of a bite to it. Good stuff here. But anyway, this uh type in here, this chick, this is a really nice shaver. I'll show you this restrictor here in just a moment. Tell you what though, my face sure does smell. It's very smooth. If I had a pickup, I only got that strip right through here as usual, and I'd have a very smooth shave. I'd have nothing left on my face. And if you're wondering, let's see if we can get to the. That's what the restrictor looks like. I guess you might say about standard size. Gonna be smelling good today. All right. Once again, this is shaver of the day. Relatively easy to keep clean. In that, I just take a Q-tip, a wet one, wipe it down real quick. Just takes a quick moment. For me, I uh, guess you might say I've got a method of removing the uh, the blade. I take the key, if you will, put it in the side. I use uh, I've got a metal comb. It's whatever you you know, use. There's more than one way of doing it. Once you get your metal key, I keep a little bit of a gap off to the side. Take the edge of whatever you're going to use, even if it's just a small little screwdriver, if you will, and just gently edge right there on the uh, blade scoot it out just enough where I can grab it pull it out that way it's not sitting in, sitting in there rusting or anything of the sort clean it up just real quick it's you know doesn't take a whole lot of effort not only that if it's a long period of time in between you use these things it doesn't sit in there in the soap if there's any left in there the soap almost like glue <laughs> if on some of these then you have this, such a difficult time getting that blade out of there the best thing is if you get one of these that's got a blade in it soak it in hot water then attempt to get that blade out it'll come right on out of there had a great shave this morning my face really is it's pretty darn smooth hope everybody's doing well stay safe and smooth shaves